Today's video is on my everyday hairstyle, which is perfect for when you're in that middle awkward stage of growing your hair out. However, before we do get into it, I just want to announce that I've started streaming over on Twitch. It'd be cool to have as many of you guys there as possible. It's also probably the number one way to have your hair questions answered by me, considering it's all live. I'm also live on Twitch as this YouTube video is dropped. So if you're watching it upon release, come hang out, come say hello. It'd be cool to see you guys there. But without further ado, let's get into it. This is the hairstyle we'll be working with today. It's an off-centered part, super easy to do, and it's perfect during that awkward stage of growing your hair out. As always, starting off with hair measurements, our fringe falls a little below our bottom lip and is in the region of between nine to 10 inches. Our sides have grown out a little, they're in the region of five to six inches, and the back is only about an inch shorter than the front within the region of eight to nine inches. I start by applying some hair oil into damp hair. We're only talking two or three drops max. This is just to relax the hair and give it that weightless volume that we're going for. In case you're interested in what hair oil I've been using recently, I've been experimenting with Blue Mon's cloud control. Next up, we're looking to create that parting in our hair. Now, where you choose to part your hair is totally personal preference. What I recommend is you play around with it, see what you feel best suits you. Personally, I push mine over from the side a little, but we're not quite in the center. So we're kind of halfway in between the side and the center. But again, it's nothing crucial and it's just something to have a play with, see what you like best. Up next, and as a pre-styler, what I like to add is a hair mousse. This is just to emphasize that that weightless volume look and feel that we're going for. Again, try not to stress too much about what hair mousse it is you're using. Any should work, but what I recommend is you just try out a couple from your local drugstore. You don't need to be spending a lot on them. Ideally, you just want one that's accessible, affordable, and works with your hair. Next up is by far the most time consuming element of this hairstyle, and that's the blow drying process. You want to be using a medium heat setting. Using a higher heat setting could dry your hair too quickly, producing some unwanted frizz. As far as blow drying technique goes, again, this couldn't be any simpler. Just keep the airflow nice and flat and close to the hair. This is just to minimize any frizz or flyaways. As you've probably already figured out, I tend to section the hair so I only work on one side at a time. As the smaller section of my hair gets drier, I really try to emphasize the hair to go above and around my ear as opposed to just over it. And as you can probably tell for yourselves, this is just to make the hairstyle look a little neater and put together. I then move on to the bigger section of the parting following the exact same rules. Once you're done with this side, you'll find it naturally has a lot more volume. That's simply because there's just more hair. Overall, it leaves you with a really cool looking parting that has different depths and levels to it. From here, you're free to add any finishing product of your choice, depending on how you want your hair to look throughout the day. I tend to change the finishing product up a lot, so don't feel limited or restricted to one or two products. In this case in particular, I use Hybrid Cream Clay by Blumon. I just find it gives that lightweight, creamy feel while also having a slight bit of grittiness. Once applied, finger comb into place however you like, and hopefully you should end up with something that looks similar or your own version of the off-centered part. Hopefully you enjoyed this short hair tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And again, come follow me on Twitch. I'm gonna be streaming as much as possible. So it would be cool to see you guys there. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.